Hey guys, Mariko Baird, Realtor with Bridgewell Real Estate Group here in Coquitlam, British Columbia, Canada. And today's video, I really just wanted to do a roundup of the first time home buyer programs that I think are the most notable right now. Um, as you know, I mean, I'm really, really passionate about making sure that people are educated and informed about the real estate market and just real estate in general. And I think that as a first time home buyer, you know, we really don't expect you to know everything right off the bat. It's a really, really exciting process, but it can definitely be overwhelming. And so the whole point of this video is just to make sure that you're provided with the information that you need to be able to take advantage of these programs that are available for you and really just make a decision on whether there's something that you do want to take advantage of or not. Um, so starting with the property transfer tax exemption, and this is a really popular one that I think everyone should take advantage of, um, is if you are purchasing a property below the $500,000 mark and it is a resale property, then you are probably going to be eligible for the property transfer tax exemption. So property transfer tax is calculated as 1% on the first 200K and 2% on the balance up to the $2 million mark. Um, in order for the property to be eligible, it has to be below $500,000 for a resale property. Um, and then in order for you to be eligible, you have to be a first time home buyer, a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident, and you have to be using it as your primary residence. So when you calculate the property transfer tax on a $500,000 home, it equates to $8,000. So if you're keeping within that 500K mark and you meet all of uh, the requirements for yourself and the property, then you're going to be saving roughly $8,000 um, or less, depending on what your purchase price is. Um, but anyways, it, it's a really, really great one to take advantage of. And if you're purchasing a pre-sale property, that number gets bumped up to $750,000. But just keep in mind that with pre-sale properties, you are going to have to be paying that 5% GST as well. Um, so that's the property transfer tax exemption. Another great one is the first time home buyer tax credit. And so when you go to, um, do your tax return, you basically uh, claim online, I think it's three sixty nine. dollars uh, You can claim $5,000 for the purchase of a qualifying home and that tax credit equates to roughly $750. So it's supposed to help you pay for all of the additional closing costs such as lawyer fees, um, help with any adjustments, help with moving fees, you know, you're going to have to buy some furniture and things like that. So that's what that $750 tax credit is for. So make sure that when you do purchase your first home, that you tell your accountant that you purchased your first home and you're wanting to use that uh, first time home buyer tax credit. That's another one. Uh, the other one is a home buyer's plan. So that is with regards to your down payment and your registered retirement savings plan. So if you do have money in your RSP, typically if you take that money out of your RSP, uh, it gets added to your income um, and then you have to pay more taxes on it. But the home buyer's plan allows you to take money out of your RSP use it for the purpose of buying your first home and then you don't have to start repayment until the second year after the year that you purchase and typically you have to just put whatever money you took out back in within a 15 year period. Uh, so that's a great option for you to, you know, use money that is in your RSP for your down payment funds, um, beef that up a little bit and not have to repay it right away and not have to pay um, the extra taxes on it for a 15 year period. Um, another one that was introduced quite recently is the first time home buyer incentive. And so what that is, is basically uh, a shared equity mortgage where the government is essentially investing in the property with you. Uh, so the purpose is, is that um, they are investing in that property with you. And so if the value of the property goes up at the time of repayment, then your um, repayment also goes up, your repayment loan also goes up. Whereas if the value of the property goes down, then your repayment loan also goes down. So think about it literally as the government investing in the property with you. Uh, for resale properties, they are offering a 5% shared equity mortgage. And for pre-sale properties, you can apply for either a five or a 10% shared equity mortgage. Um, so that's something you might want to look into. And I do have another video that I just uploaded recently on the first time home buyer incentive as it is a relatively new program. Um, but yeah, these are the first time home buyer programs that I really think that people should just be considering when they are purchasing their first home. We do work with a ton of first time home buyers. It is our absolute goal and mission to make sure that all of our buyers really, and especially our first time home buyers and first time home sellers that uh, they're educated throughout the process and they really are able to make their own um, educated decisions really with our guidance on the side. So if you are a first time home buyer and you're wondering about these programs, you're wondering about purchasing, you're wondering about the process or really anything um, in between and all over the place with regards to that, feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is Mariko with Bridgewell Real Estate Group and I am happy to help. 
Have a good one, guys, and I hope this video was informative.